Okay, so um, this is going to be a tutorial on tracing, which I guess will be more of like a lesson type of thing just because it's not a real, it's a technique and it's not so much of just like one single trick. So tracing is um, when you have both hands on the hoop and um, it looks like they're both moving. They might not necessarily both be moving, but um, you know, you get the idea. So basically your best bet with um, tracing is to just play around, to just start with two hands on your hoop and um, just kind of see what you can do. But before you can do that, um, let me go over the basics. Essentially, you're going to be using, I use my right hand. Sometimes I use my left hand, depending on, um, you know, what the trick is or whatever. I can do both. But basically, you're using one hand to tightly grip the hoop and do, and do a move. So say I'm going like this with my right hand. Then I'm going to add in the left hand, and the left hand is going to be really loose, just really loose. So, you know, no one obviously can tell, but... Um, I mean, you would know. And it's just going to be sliding along and mimicking the other hand. So this is how we do an isolation like this. We just have the right hand moving, and you can obviously switch. Now I have my left hand moving the hoop, and my right hand just grazing across. Um, another, another thing that is um, simple and like a good introduction is things like this and down and over to the side and over this way. So <clears throat> with those, you kind of have just the same thing as this, the same principle with one hand moving and the other just following. Um, say we start down here with both our hands together and then we're going to pull across the top and right now I have my right hand guiding the hoop, but once I get to this point up here, I start to push up with my right hand to come down. So it looks like this, but then we add in the other hand, and it's like this. And then the same applies for doing something over here. So we can start maybe starting like this. And then I'm using my right hand to do the same thing. I'm pushing out, and the left one follows. And then over here, I could use my left, or I could use, I don't know, anything, whatever. The same basic things apply. Um, so with that in mind, I just want to encourage you to like play around. like um, Keep one hand still and move the other one. Or, move the hoop because there's a lot of variables you can the hand you can actually switch hands that are controlling it and which hands are following you can um you have you can be sliding along the hoop while the hoop is stationary or you can be sliding while it's moving you can be um it can be turning in your hand while you're gripping it and the other one follows um and, you know, it doesn't necessarily just have to be these, like, isolations. It can be, you know, your grip can switch, too, and you can be doing this, and then, I don't know, really, um, the thing that helped me to really figure out tracing and feel comfortable with it was to just um, set aside, like, minutes of time to just um, play with what I could do and uh, what would happen when I did different things. I mean, you can, the possibilities are honestly pretty endless. So really, if you're in doubt about, about anything, all you just need to do is think about how you're, how you would move with one hand. So maybe you like to do these kind of bounces or pushes or whatever. That's all going to stay the same. You can just find a place for your second hand to like, to like slide along basically, just like a little add-on. Um, so yeah, that's my kind of definition of tracing and how to play around with that technique. I hope that helped and gave you guys some new moves to try.